ドラキュラモーフィーキャットヴァンパイアナイト VTuber エルヴィオンPlayStation. Yeah, let's go. Inquisitor. Yeah. How goes the battle, Captain? The Red Templars fall beneath our blades, Your Worship. Commander Cullen says they're nearly finished. Our scouts saw Corypheus yeah. traveling towards an elven ruin to the north. We can clear you a path through his armies. Hold nothing back. Make the monsters pay, Captain. Leave none standing. Yeah. You shall not flinch your worship. Yeah. Not a one of us. Andraste guide you, Inquisitor. Andraste's tits. I wonder. Is it Andraste your soldiers invoke during battle, or does a more immediate name come to their lips? Not the maker. They show me respect, Morrigan. No one mistakes me for the maker. 
True. You are far more likely to come to their aid than a Chantry fable. But I digress. If your scouts report accurately, I believe these ruins to be the Temple of Mathal. Which is? A place of worship out of elven legend. If Corypheus seeks it, then the Illuvian he covets lies within. Ooh. Whoa. Let us hope we reach this temple before the entire forest is reduced to ash. Damn, son. Son, we're not up to Ambassador Briala. You've put together an impressive army, Inquisitor. Oh, Ganya Palaichuranya without the mask. The Herald of Andrastida's fray. I could hardly stay at home. Still have an edge? Are you sure? Court life makes one soft, I hear. <laughs> Show me a palace where that's true, I beg you. An elf with power still shocks. You know how it feels to hear those whispers constantly. Enough of that. Sound the charge and we'll show Corypheus the displeasure of Orle. Orle, baby. Here we go. Enter the Temple of Mythal. Okay, bye. <laughs> Thanks. Let's get out of here. Come on, guys. Oh, shit. I see Samson. Namelana Sabanale. They still think to fight us, Master. Master. These are but remnants. They will not keep us from the Well of Sorrows. Well of Sorrows? Yeah, that, that, that's what Morrigan's gonna say in Vilgard. Well of Sorrows? What the fuck is that? <laughs> Be honored. Witness death at the hands of a new god. Oh. Oh. Ooh. Refuse is dead. Nah. Corypheus isn't dead. Whoa, whoa. Whoa. It cannot be. Across the bridge now. Oh shit, run Morrigan! Ooh. Damn, son. At last, Mathal's sanctum. Let us proceed before Corypheus interferes. Hold on. Corypheus mentioned a well of sorrows. I thought he was here for an alluvian. I agree. I am uncertain of what he referred to. <laughs> That's not good. You're not certain? You said you knew what he was looking for. Confidence can carry one only so far, it seems. I suspected. I did not know. 
Yes, I was wrong. Does that please you? Whatever <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Poor Morgan. And thus you must keep it from his grasp. Everybody's ganging up on poor Morgan. Let's find this well before Corypheus's people do. I want to know how Corypheus returned to life. We saw him die. And his life force passes on to any blighted creature, Darkspawn or Grey Warden. So how many times do we need to kill him? It's a small number, right? Strike Corypheus down. He will rise anew. rise anew. We'll find a way to stop him once we're done here. It is strange. Archdemons possess the same ability, and still the Grey Wardens are able to slay them. Yet Corypheus, they locked away. Perhaps they knew he could do this, but not how. Yes? Is Corypheus truly immortal? I'm certain Corypheus is using the power of the Blight to make himself immortal. Perhaps you forget. I was in Ferelden during the Fifth Blight. Yes, yes, I played the first game. True Archdemon Rage. How Corypheus gained the power to send his soul into blighted bodies. That is the real question. Will answering it help us? Answering? Perhaps. I would suggest first dealing with the well. If Corypheus obtains it, any chance of success could be lost. What do you know about the well? Who are these temple elves? You've seen the elves here. They seem odd. Indeed. Two things are possible. One, this is a group of Dalish separated from their brethren, cultists, fanatic in their desire to keep humans away. Two, these are elves descended from the ancients having resided here since before the fall of Arlathan. The second appears unlikely, but if true, the implications are astounding. Could it be true? Is that even possible? How? With magic, anything is possible. Whatever the truth, the Guardians successfully kept the temple a secret. They must kill all who enter, even the Dalish. Even me! A sensible question might be, why? Do you know what this part of the temple was used for? The room we stand in is a vestibule, not the temple proper. To those who knew it, perhaps this ritual was little more than a polite knock at the gate. These customs must have been as familiar to ancient elves as bowing to a queen is to you or I. You bow? I find it difficult to picture you curtsying to anyone. Have we become so familiar you can predict my manners and customs now? Nothing is lost Damn. in indulging in the occasional civilized conduct, particularly when unexpected. You said this Mithal was worshipped as a goddess. So one assumes. What is a god but a being of immense god? power? The dread old gods were nothing more than dragons, after all. They rise as archdemons, and they die. Perhaps Mithal was a powerful elf, a ruler among her kind. History often plays storyteller with facts. You admit lack of knowledge? And yet dismiss her so readily? I do not dismiss her. I question her supposed divinity. One need not be a god to have value. Truthfully, I'm uncertain Mithal was even a single entity. The accounts are varied. What accounts? There are varied accounts of Mithal. In most stories, Mithal rights wrongs while exercising motherly kindness. Let fly your voice to Mithal, deliverer of justice, protector of sun and earth alike. Other... Paint her as dark, vengeful. Pray to Mathal and she would smite your enemies, leaving them in agony. More Dalish tales, I assume. You know more, Solas? I know more about this, Solas. Speak. The oldest accounts say Mathal was both of these, and neither. She was the mother, protective and fierce. That is all I will say. This is not a place to stir up old stories. Whatever the mm, truth, I wonder what you know, Solas. Exiled to the beyond. I wonder how you know that. What do you mean, exiled? Tricked by the Dread Wolf, as all the elven gods were said to be, trapped in a land beyond the Fade. Many Dalish believe this is why the elves fell from grace. Just padding over to Solas for no reason. Or perhaps they were simply rulers slain by Tevinter. Oh. Who can say? Panning over to Tevinter. <laughs> Let's continue. As you wish. 
All right. The temple's magics are still strong. Ancient Elven. I can't make out much. Atishor, via Abalassan. It means enter the path of the Well of Sorrows. There is something about knowledge, respectful or pure. Shivan. Shivanan. Shivanan. Tis all I can translate. That it mentions the well is a good omen. Wish we had more. Does it help us much? Vague translations of knowledge and sorrow don't fill me with confidence. Supplicants to Mathal would have first paid obeisance here. Following their path may aid entry. Oh, no. This is bad. Rituals are bad. Can't want this. If need be. Unless you wish to turn back. Whoa! Hold them off! Fuck off, Samson. A moment. Yes. While they rush ahead, this leads to our true destination. We should walk the petitioner's path as before. Right. Slow down. Give the baddies a chance. That's fair and dumb. If we're going in, let's get in. Jump already. In this case, I must agree with the witch. This is ancient ground, deserving of our respect. You see the urgency. We cannot find the Well of Sorrows unprepared. We're here to stop Corypheus. We don't need to reach the well first if we stop them before they find it. Reach the well before they do and their plan is ended. And your plan? There is... a danger to the natural order. Order. Legends walked Thedas once, things of might and wonder. Their passing has left us all the lesser. Corypheus would squander the ancient power of the well. I would have it restored. You know nothing about it. You barely know what the Well of Sorrows is, but you want to restore it. Yes. Is Theda so full of wonders that we should leave them to die one by one? Mankind blunders through the world, crushing what it does not understand. Elves, dragons, magic. The list is endless. We must stem the tide or be left with nothing more than the mundane. This I know to be true. I read more in the first chamber than I revealed. It said a great boon is given to those who use the Well of Sorrows, but at a terrible price. What's this moon? What exactly did that altar say about the Well of Sorrows? Like most elven writing, it was insufferably vague. The term I deciphered was Halam Shivanas, the Shivanas. 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 It implies the loss of something personal for duty's sake. Yet for those who served at this temple, a worthwhile trade. You want the well yourself? Is your real goal the power inside this well? 
Yes, if that is the only way to preserve it. My priority is your cause, but if the opportunity arises to save this well, I am willing to pay the cost. And gain what? That is what we must discover. The ritual may point the way. What? But do Oh, yes, yes, yes. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Let us see. Yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. Finally. It is not what I expected. What was this chamber used for? Hmm. We're being watched. Oh shit. Venavis. Venavis. You are unlike the other invaders. You have the features of those who call themselves Elven. You bear the mark of magic, which is familiar. Familiar. Come to pass. What is your connection to those who first disturbed our slumber? They are my enemies as well as yours. I am called Abelas. We are sentinels tasked with standing against those who trespass on sacred ground. We wake only to fight, to preserve this place. Our numbers diminish with each invasion. Oh, like shit. Seek, like all who have come before you, you wish to drink from the Vera Belasar. The place of the Way of Sorrows. He speaks of the well. It is not for you. It is not for any of you. <laughs> So, you're elves from ancient times, before the Tevinter Imperium destroyed Arlathan. The Shemlin did not destroy Arlathan. Ooh. We Elven warred upon ourselves. By the time the doors to this sanctuary closed, our time was over. Wait, that's not right. What are you saying? You would not know truth. Shemlin history is as short as the pool of your years. What did the Imperium do then? Are you saying it wasn't a war? The war of carrion feasting upon a corpse, yes. We awaken only when called, and each time find the world more foreign than before. It is meaningless. We endure. Oh, elves warred upon their selves. Preserved. What is this Vera Balasan exactly? It is a path, one walked only by those who toiled in Mithal's favor. He speaks of priests, perhaps. More than that, you need not know. Elves need you. Our people have lost everything. They need you. They could learn from you. Our people? The ones we see in the forest. Shadows wearing Valisleen. You are not my people. And you have invaded our sanctum as readily as the Shemlin. We knew this place was sacred. We respected it as best we could. I believe you. Trespassers you are, but you have followed rites of petition. You have shown respect to Mithal. If these others are enemies of yours, we will aid you in destroying them. When this is done, you shall be permitted to depart. And never return. This is our goal, is it not? There is no reason to fight these sentinels. I agree. Consider carefully. You must stop Corypheus, yes, but you may also need the well for your own. We may need that well. We will ally. I don't trust them. I accept your offer. You will the Sarah disapproves. As for the Vera Belasan, it shall not be despoiled. Even if I must destroy it myself. No! Morgan! Oh, How has such magic lasted? Oh. 
Ooh. Oh, damn. You tough bastards. Tough Today's bastards. Hours of fighting and still fierce as dragons. The Chantry never knew what it was throwing away. Samson, sir, watch out. Inquisitor. Inquisitor. Even those elf things don't know when to sleep. Elf things? You've hunted us half across Thedas. I should have guessed you'd follow us into this hole. Marox is dead. I spoke with your tranquil, Maddox. He sacrificed himself for your cause. I told him not to. He died as one of us then. One of the faithful. Corypheus chose me twice. First as his general. Now, as the vessel for the Well of Sorrows. You know what's inside the well? Wisdom. The kind of wisdom that can scour a world. I give it to Corypheus. That he can walk into the Fade without your precious anchor. You're a vessel? What's your part in it? What's a vessel? What else empties a well? I'll carry its power to Corypheus. One more task entrusted to me. Being force-fed Chantry Lyrium was good for something. This armor makes me a living fortress, mind and body. I won't forget a word of the well's knowledge. Corypheus will be unstoppable. Who cast you aside? Once Corypheus is that powerful. You and your soldiers will just slow him down. You dare say that to my face? After you butchered my men? You're no match for Corypheus. Even if you drink from the well, you'll never master its wisdom as he could. This is the strength that Chantry tried to bind. But it's a new world now. With a new god. The new so, god. Inquisitor, how will this go? Destroy his armor. Power's all well and good. Until it's taken away. What did you do? What did you do? My armor is gone. Delirium. I need it. Kill them all. Ah! What the fuck? There we are. Uh, Samson! Fuck you, Samson! Abelas. Oh, that's the well. You heard 
his parting words, Inquisitor. The elf seeks to destroy the Well of Sorrows. So the Sanctum is despoiled at last. You would have destroyed the Well yourself, given the chance. To keep it from your grasping fingers. Better it be lost than bestowed upon the undeserving. Fool. You'd let your people's legacy rot in the shadows. We've stopped Samson, we're done. Orpheus needed Samson to use the well. Without him, there's no vessel to claim it. The moment we leave, he will send more forces to secure this place. The well clearly offers power, Inquisitor. If that power can be turned against Corypheus, can you afford not to use it? Do you even know what you ask? As each servant of Mithal reached the end of their years, they would pass their knowledge on through this. All that we were, all that we knew, it would be lost forever. It is lost already. Look around you. Everything your people were, it's already gone. It is. There are other places, friend, other duties. Your people yet linger. Elven such as you? Yes, such as I. You have shown respect to Mithal, and there is a righteousness in you I cannot deny. Is that your desire? To partake of the Vera Belasan as best you can? To fight your enemy? What of the price? Gifts like this don't come freely. No boon of Mithal was ever granted without cost. The Vera Belasan may be too much for a mortal to comprehend. Brave it if you must. But know you this. You shall be bound forever to the will of Mithal. Bound to a goddess who no longer exists, if she ever did. Bound as we are bound. The choice is yours. What happened to Mithal? Is it possible this Mithal might still exist? Anything is possible. Elven legend states that Mithal was tricked by Fen Harel and banished to the beyond. Elven legend is wrong. The Dread Wolf had nothing to do with her murder. Mm. I said nothing of... She was slain, if a god truly can be. Betrayed by those who destroyed this temple. Yet the Vera Belasan remains. As do we. That is something. Where will you go? Are you leaving the temple? Our duty ends. Why remain? There is a place for you, Letheline. If you seek it. Perhaps there are places the Shemlin have not touched. The Imperium went to great lengths to expunge elven history. You might be the last to know the truth. Would the elves of your lands listen to the truth? No elfy elf will believe it. What would they cry about if their glory wasn't stolen? <laughs> Big loss. It may be that only Uthenera awaits us. The blissful sleep of eternity never to awaken, if fate is kind. That's it? No more du duty? You can walk away from the temple? Just like that? After you drink, nothing remains to hold us. Malas Amali Nahalam Abalas. His name, Abalas, means sorrow. I said, I hope he finds a new name. You'll note the intact Illuvian. I was correct on that count, at least. Is it still a threat? Can Corypheus use it to travel the Fade? You recall when I took you through my Illuvian, I said each required a key? The well is the key. Take its power, and Mathal's last Illuvian will be no more use to Corypheus than glass. 
loss. I did not expect the well to feel so hungry. That's not good. Seems like that should be a concern. Knowledge begets a hunger for more. I am willing to pay the price the well demands. I am also the best suited to use its knowledge in your service. Or more likely to your own ends? What would you know of my ends, elf? You are a glutton drooling at the sight of a feast. You cannot be trusted. Of those present, I alone have the training to make use of this. Let me drink, Inquisitor. You alone have the training? You alone. This is my heritage. I have studied the oldest lore. I have delved into mysteries of which you could only dream. Can you honestly tell me there is anyone better suited? Myself. I would be. You lead the Inquisition. This is not a risk you can take. I have the best chance of making use of the well for everyone. Let me drink. Perhaps nobody should use it. I hate to say it, but Abelos's plan to destroy the well may be the best one. What happens when Corypheus comes for you again? He is immortal. The wisdom of the well may include a way to destroy him. Give me this and I fight at your side. I shall be your sword. I know the will's danger. Looking at it, listening to it. That's not just knowledge from the ancient elven priests. It's their will. How would you know such a thing? That's what Abelas was telling us. The collective will of the priests puts anyone who drinks under a compulsion, a gas. Can't you feel it? That would match the legend, but it does not tell us what the gas entails. I would still use the well, but you are right. We must be cautious. What does everyone else think? Thoughts? She is right about only one thing. We should take the power which lies in that well. It all seems ghoulish. Let Morrigan use it. If she wants it so much. It's called the Well of Sorrows. Sorrows? No one should go in the Well of Sorrows. Enough deliberation. Give me your decision. Fuck. It's either me or Morrigan. Holy shit. I haven't thought of this. I mean, it's I'm the elf here. It's my heritage. I should probably drink it. But then again, it does put me, it does, I don't know, I'll be under Mythos control. Shit, uh, you know what? But yeah, Morrigan, the well is yours. Why do you guys disapprove? Oh, Morgan, are you all right? Elasim <sighs> Salah. I... I am intact. There is much to sift through. But now we can... Oh. What's going on? Oh shit, it's Corypheus.
Ah! Oh shit. Run! <laughs> I'm pleased to report we won the battle, Inquisitor. When you went through that mirror, Corypheus and his archdemon fled the field. I'm not sure why. What he wanted was no longer within the temple. Perhaps. He spent so long trying to get into the temple, he probably couldn't have helped his forces by that point. Then Corypheus is finished. If he is wise, he will hide and rebuild his strength before he attacks again. He will not hide. Then he's coming here? Meaning he will attack us directly, at Skyhold. Not necessarily, but neither will he remain idle. <laughs> Not necessarily, How sure. How have such insight into his plans? The Well of Sorrows held many voices, and they speak to me now from across the ages. They hold wisdom, secrets I never dreamed possible. But even they fear what Corypheus has become. Even he can be killed. We defeated his army, and elven magic killed him at the temple. He's not invincible. Not invincible, but incredibly powerful and immortal. Yet, there is a way. The dragon he calls is not truly an archdemon. It is a dragon in which Corypheus has infested part of his being. He doubtless did so out of pride to emulate the gods of old. That pride can be exploited. Kill the dragon, and his ability to leap into other bodies is disrupted. He can be slain. Oh, is that all? Just kill his dragon. Why didn't we think of that before? There is a way to defeat the dragon, to match Corypheus in his power. The well whispers it to me now. Your help will be required, Inquisitor. Speak to me when you are ready, and we shall begin. I'll see to Skyhold's defenses in the meantime. 